alcohol. Class A drugs? Um, yeah, or B, or C, also probably. Um, I think, again, like, you know, um, lots of stress for situations and public humiliation would probably lead you to do something not of sound mind, I'd imagine. Would Tony Veach's girlfriend be subconsciously less sexually active now uh, after the trauma of a male? Sub subconsciously, subconsciously less sexually active. I I'd hope that she wasn't subconsciously sexually active because that would l perhaps imply that she was unconsciously sexually active, <laughs> which wouldn't be a pleasant experience. Although you would be unconscious. So. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not particularly sure what her subconscious sex life would be like. I think, however, that perhaps her conscious sex life has probably been affected because of the trauma involved with what she's been through. Okay, so based on Mr. Beach's kicking abilities, um, do you think he has the potential to become the next All Blacks um, coal kicker? Um... He might not be bad. Um, he's quite a small bloke. He's not large, so he'd, he'd probably cop cop a few injuries from time to time. Um, but he might not be alright. I think probably Dan Cardo could probably kick a kick a girl down the stairs fairly effectively. Also, probably more effectively than Tony Veach. Um, we've loved having you on the show. Um, you've really helped us um, on really giving us an insight of what it would be like for Tony Veach. And, um, yeah, you've really opened our eyes. And, um, yeah, it's been great having you on the show. Thank you very much. And we wish you the best of luck for your master's degree in psychology. Thank you. Well, what an interview that was. That really gave us some insight into what it must have been like for Mr. Veach. That's true. Well, Jono certainly knows of psychology. And, as Cody said on the tape, it certainly opened our eyes. Anyway, on to next topic. Shoes. That's right. Well, we have here the shoe that uh, Tony Veach indeed did use to kick his girlfriend down the stairs. And now we're going to take a look at um, the two different types of shoes. Okay, so first of all, we have the shoe Tony Veach was wearing. Mm. Now, as you see, we have um, quite light shoes that um, really like cardboard, resemble cardboard, right. very light rubber. That's right, and if you take this here, if this is a girl's back, it's not going to do much. No, and listen to the force as mm. it hits something. Yeah, not much. It's, it's not durable. It's, it's not. Alan from Waitakere, on the other hand. Yes, Alan from Waitakere. He said that this shoe would be more useful. Ideal. More ideal. Yeah, yeah, that's the word. And, um, and here is the force and just the difference in size. Look. It's about the weight of a cinder block. Yes, oh, mm. oh, definitely. But this would um, be a lot more useful if you were thinking of doing that. It kind certainly of stuff. would be if you were going to kick your girlfriend in the back, which we don't recommend. No, we do not recommend. Absolutely not. It's just, it's just for name's sake. We're just talking about this. And um, but anyway, what did we do the other day, Josh? Well, I'll tell you what we did. We went into Christchurch, the streets of Christchurch, to find out what exactly people thought of this media circus, what they thought of the Veach case, what they thought of how the media handled it, and whether they thought Cody was good looking. <laughs> and what a lot of fun we had. Oh, we did. Let's show you now. Hi, I'm here in Cathedral Square, Central Christchurch. Now, we know that the media have been playing out the Tony Veach story for at least six months, but I'm here to see what Cantabrians and Japanese tourists think of the issue. So, uh, how do you think the media has handled the Veach case? Uh, I don't know, mate, eh? I just think uh, the guy, I, I just think the guy should go away for a long time, eh? No one should be able to do that to a lady, eh? Nice, Thanks, um, and do you think the public has heard the whole story, though? Nah, and I don't really want to know the whole story, eh? I don't think the public needs to know, I just put them away. Fair enough, cheers for that, mate. Thank you very much. The little I've seen is it look, it's very exposed on the telly. Where I'm from in England, we don't show court cases live on telly. Um, it seems like it's going on for a long time. Have you heard anything about this news story? Oh, yeah, I heard a bit about it. I, mean, I don't know the ins and outs of it. But you don't know the ins and outs of it? Well, no, well, but, well, we could just have a question. Just, um... Oh, your car. Uh, <laughs> a bit. Um, are we rolling? Uh, 
Oh, no, no, absolutely. No, no, no women beating whatsoever, no. That's what I'm pleased about that. How we should be locked up? No, I think, I think um, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Um, obviously, the, the big mistake, that's right, but I'm sure he wouldn't do it again, and I think a leopard can change his spot. So, I mean, he, he one strike you're out, or, you know, string him up and quarter him, I don't know. I don't, you know, it, it was trial by media, and I think he was, yeah, he, he's been given a hard time. I'm glad I don't have a daughter, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll trust feature with my daughter. All right. Yeah. Well, cheers for that. What I was more looking for is just something with quite a hard upper, so would this be ideal? Well, this actually is designed to, oh, as a trail shoe, so it's designed for that side to side movement and that, so it's stronger through the upper. It's actually got a bit of a toe protection area in that as well, so if you're stubbing your toes against the rocks and tree roots and things like that. Yeah. It would be quite good if I was wanting to kick something or someone or. Yeah. Be well, absolutely soccer or anything like that. I don't know about somebody. I hope it's not me. <laughs> would it be quite painful if I did, though? Um, oh, it would probably hurt as an instant thing, but probably not something that would give you a dead leg. Is it true that they sun No, 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 get the camera away from me. No, it's, it's, it's not, not rolling. rolling, it's all right. It's not, not rolling. Not rolling. Not rolling. Yeah, so we have to get permission. Um, so, just your opinion from what you've seen. How do you think the media has handled the beach case? Well, they've handled it as well as any other case. Uh, they must have been a bit short of news, so they took on one of their own, <laughs> or... Or just uh, glamorise them a bit to make sure we haven't forgotten our hero. Fair enough. Hmm. Now you're asking. I guess they just think it's of uh, utmost public importance. So so they've, um, and they're just sort of... T and, but in that way, they're just telling us what's of importance. So it's sort of... What do you think of that? Their choice. You're right, but I guess... You know, he's one of New Zealand's most well-paid, was one of New Zealand's most well-paid guys. More than John um, Key, yeah. Prime Minister. So. Um, so we're here somewhere in Christchurch and uh, we've no idea where we are. No, we're just planning where to go. Um, what, that Japanese street looks good. Um, well, there's lots of Japanese tourists in Cathedral Square, but where the hell is that? Oh, we just got to look for a spot. <laughs> just follow your nose. Follow your nose. Well, there's a Westpac no, Tower there, there's a skateboarder. Hey, anyone want to do an interview on Tony Beach? Anyone? On no. Tony Beach? Sweet ass, have a good day. Anyone? Sir, interview about Tony Beach? Opinion? No, no keep walking. Yeah, no. Can Must help. Must interview on Tony Beach? Kickboxer. All right, so we're here with the uh, fight center man. So what's the best way to push your girlfriend down the stairs? It's flight center, whoops. Tony, come to Christchurch. Oh, we gotta wait for some people to walk past. Okay, ready? Okay, hey! Excuse me! Wanna do an interview on Tony Beach? Excuse me, interview on Tony Beach? No. What do you think of Tony Beach? Yeah. Sweet ass! Oh, sweet ass. Sort of. Uh, I don't know what he thought. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> trip to the parking building, a success. Well, what a day it was. Certainly some differing opinions on the streets of Christchurch. Got that right, Josh. Now, we move on to our emails. Yeah, that's some in. Right. First of all, they've been flooding in. Now, our first email reads from Jen with a C and Q are you stupid Tony what exactly does that mean I'm not sure well the next one is from Barbara um, Tony why your girlfriend not your cat or goldfish you know what I think Barbara has a man mustache <laughs> Barbara start a group start a group Barbara right on to the next one uh, next one is from Bill at the steer company Tony we have cheap deals at the moment on stairway padding and safety mats. It may be a little late now, though. Mm. Some interesting feedback we're getting today. The next one is from fatsovideos.co.nz. Your copies of Once Were Warriors and What Becomes...